good morning all good morning. able to hear me yes yes no yes sir yes 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 thanks for thanks for so Okay, so any questions before we start with the new GL accounting? We have started new GL accounting last session. We saw what is the need. So we have completed the prerequisites of new GL accounting last said last week session. So we have defined a group currency. We have maintained a controlling area and profits into standard hierarchy, and we have maintained fiscal year variant for our US company code that is Jan to December and posting period variant also. We have maintained clear. And after that, what, what is what do you mean by parallel accounting? In new GL accounting, the main uh, configuration we need to do is we have profit uh, parallel accounting, profit center and segment reporting, document with entry view and GL view, document splitting, FIC or real time integration, extended data structure with fact flexed table. <clears throat> okay, so we have started discussion on uh, parallel accounting. Right, what do you mean by parallel accounting? What do you mean by last week we discussed, right? What do you mean by parallel accounting? Yeah. What is the need of parallel accounting? A bit louder, please. Is something like... Sorry? Uh, this one, like parallel accounting, profit central segment, yeah, that's there. But what is exactly the parallel accounting? What is the need of parallel accounting in new GL accounting? See, parallel accounting is nothing but, for example, I have, again, I'm reiterating for everybody's benefit. See, parallel accounting, for example, earlier our company is only in India, for example, only in India, our company, and we are doing trading we are doing trading only in india okay only in india then classic gl version we can use to generate reports generate reports generate reports only in Indian gap reporting. Indian gap reporting. Means only one, only one local reporting we can generate. But after that, after that, the companies nowadays, we are doing global trading. Nowadays, majority companies are doing global trading. What do you mean by global trading? Import and exports. Global trading is nothing but, so we are not restricted to one country. We are spreading towards across the globe. So at that particular point of time, at that particular point of time, for example, we need local reporting. That is local gap reporting. Local gap reporting. And same time, we need other countries gap reportings also. For example, our company, our company is in Singapore, right? Then we need to generate a report as per their country's legal requirement, their company's tax requirement. We need to generate reports. Like for example, Singapore gap report. Singapore gap report. Reporting. And same time, my company is one company code as in Australia. Then I need generate to reports, Australian uh, legal requirements. So Australian gap reporting, or I can say Canada, Canada gap reporting. Canada gap reporting. 
and same time we have one more for example us company code is in us then we need us gap report us gap reporting and same time we want a global reporting like ifrs reporting IFRS reporting. So like this, we can generate a new GL account that is nothing but parallel accounting. Parallel accounting is for, what do you mean by parallel accounting? Parallelly, we can generate a report, multi-dimensional reporting report we can generate. Clear? So we can generate any number of reporting according to our requirement. You can generate local gap, US gap, Canada gap, right? IFRS, whatever type of reports you want to generate, we can generate. So here, as per SAP standard, we need to generate, we need we need to have some ledger accounts, some ledgers, default ledger. We call it as a zero, one default ledger is zero L ledger. There is a zero L ledger. What is zero L ledger? This is SAP standard ledger, SAP standard ledger. So this is for whatever country you are doing accounting, so that is standard ledger is useful for local gap reporting by default this is we need not to create zero ledger by default sap has given sap has provided whatever company code you have created wherever your company is uh, your company is situated according to that it will take that default zero ledger will take that default local gap reporting if your company is in us and SAP standard, you need not to define local gap reporting. That is nothing but zero ledger reporting. Automatically, the system SAP will understand. It will generate the report as per that country local reporting. Clear? And apart from that, apart from that, okay. So as I said that, okay, we need not to create a legal reporting, uh, local reporting. But what if, and standard, this is, we, we are not supposed to create it. Already SAP has provided the zero L ledger account. This is zero L clear apart from that each ledger will help us in generating one reporting right for example like this we can create in SAP total 1035 ledgers not account these are ledgers these are ledgers so here we will come with the concept called leading ledger leading ledger and non-leading ledger leading ledger and non-leading ledger so what do you mean by leading ledger leading ledger is nothing but leading ledger is nothing but whatever ledger whatever ledger sap standard sap standard whatever ledger SAP standard SAP provided the standard ledger that ledger is known as leading ledger what is SAP standard provided ledger here zero L. zero ledger so this is known as a leading ledger if somebody asked you, what do you mean by leading ledger? That is nothing but leading ledger is uh -huh. ledger, which is SAP provided ledger. And what kind of reporting we can generate in zero ledger? Local gap reporting. Local gap reporting means as when we create our company code. So uh, according to the uh, company, according to that country, uh, what we select company's country, according to that, it will select your local gap reporting. And next time, what do you mean by non-leading ledger? So I am not satisfied with only local gap reporting because my business is in different, different countries. My company codes are spread into different, different locations, right? MNC, what we call multinational companies minus. So here I want to generate different reports. Then we have a SAP came up with a concept called non-leading ledgers. Non-leading ledgers in the sense, user defined ledgers. Means according to their requirement, according to our requirement, we can define user-defined ledgers are known as known as 
non leading ledges non leading ledges clear so non leading ledges here i want see local gap reporting zero is providing me but i need singapore reporting canada gap reporting us gap reporting ifrs reporting like like that i i need few more so maximum we can maximum we can create we can create up to up to 1000 how many 1056 no hello 1056 1056 1056 non leading ledgers we can create means how many reports we can generate non leading ledgers we can create this is maximum understood the concept called leading ledger and non leading ledger leading ledger is nothing but which sap standard ledger non leading ledgers are nothing but user defined ledgers so here how many ledgers we can create it 1056 non leading ledgers we can create it clear so here in my example in our our scenarios what I'll do is I will create, we are going to create one leading ledger, already it is there, and two non-leading ledgers. Two non-leading ledgers. Non-leading ledgers. This is what we discussed in our last session. 1035? Uh, 1056. Then, uh, for leading ledger, 1035 are SAP standard already available. Sorry, sorry. 1035 ledgers are already available for no 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 which we need to create this one sorry one. this is not 1035 1056 it's a typo error okay okay, okay. non-leading ledgers no, sap standard is only one right only one that is zero ledger see here okay. if i uh, last week also i have shown one entry if i how can we view in the sense for example in fb03 after posting an entry Anywhere, for example, my company code is UT01, fiscal year 2023. See, here, for example, I have posted one entry here. So two views will be there. In the new GL accounting, we will have two views. One is, one is entry view. We can find two views. Two views. One is entry view. Second one, GL view. In new GL accounting, we got the concept called entry view. Entry view in the sense how we will enter the transaction in the same way we can view it. For example, I have entered a transaction. For example, same example I'm taking rent account. The transaction is paid rent paid rent 10,000 for example and you have given business area Hyderabad business area profit center 1,000 okay so here when I am writing an entry I have written it as in okay rent account rent account debited amount 1,000 okay and business area hyderabad and from the from the profit center and profit center 1000 i have defined as a pro and from the profit center it will pick the segment automatically so for example i have created a segment called cement segment okay i am entering this to bank account and i have given it as a 1000 that's it so you have, I have recorded, I have entered the transaction like this, right? So I'm not updating the business area on credit part, uh, segment or sorry, profit center on credit part and segment on credit part. I have entered only the debit line. The business area I have updated, uh, uh, profit center I have updated on debit line. And uh, this is also segment also, segment we won't update in real time. Automatically it will pick from your profit center. Okay, so I'll, I'll remove here. This is entry, what we recorded. Okay. And how? There are two views, as I said. Two views. One is entry view. 
entry view in entry view how it will display in the sense so rent account same however whatever we entered the same thing entry that's the reason what if we call it as an entry means how we enter the transaction how we record the transaction in the same way it will display in the same way it will display okay next one more view we have gl view gl view so how gl view will display is so here rent account debited 1000 amount clear amount business area profit center segment segment is cement segment. so here we have not given any segment here at the time of entry but automatically at, at the time of profit center creation we will link a seg segment in profit center from profit center this will be picked the segment will be picked and in which line i have updated the details we have updated the details only on the line. debit line correct yeah, debit. yeah now automatically it will update in debit to credit we need not to update only if you un update only one line that is enough so automatically it will pick from debit line to credit line or credit line to debit line this is called glv right in new gl accounting one more entry we have a two views one is entry view and another one is a gl view so what do you mean entry view entry view is nothing but how we have recorded the transaction in the same way it will we can view it so that is called entry view what do you mean by a gl view gl view is nothing but the details will be updated okay from debit to credit or credit to debit like business area wise profit center wise segment wise is this clear so here if i see here any transaction see here you can see this is called entry view this is called entry view what i did i have updated business area in credit line profit center in credit line that's it right that's the reason it is showing entry as an only credit line so here we have one more view this is called entry view so whenever after posting an entry if you say document and display then the entry view first it will show and in your company what are the ledgers non-leading ledgers you have if you want to see then you need to click on general ledger view you need to see click on general ledger view so in general ledger view see here by default what is the ledger it is showing what is this ledger leading ledger zero ledger default ledger that is sap standard ledger so here you can view see here earlier it was showing only credit line in gl view when we saw the business area updated from credit to debit this is not credit just change it okay debit 40 so here it will updated from credit to debit business area profit center updated credit to debit right and segment is also updated from credit to debit right and this is standard ledger sap standard ledger when you click on other ledgers then you can see what are the ledgers non-leading ledgers your company is having right you can see here ux and ui ux is nothing but your ifrs ledger your company is maintaining and ui is for us gap reporting like that we can create up to 1056 non-leading ledgers is this clear so here you can view in others other ledgers so you can see your reporting ifrs reporting ux so this is ux ledger view and you want to view us gap reporting so here you are we are posted entry in 7th april so as per our reporting uh, ours is april to march april to march clear so here that's the reason it is showing period one it is showing period one the posting period now if you click on us gap reporting so us gap reporting will follow the calendar year that is nothing but jan to december so if you click on us this one us gap reporting you can see here 
document here you can see which ledger ui ledger so that is nothing but period april is nothing but from jan to december april will become fourth period jan february march april understood everyone understood everyone any questions on this no questions clear right so the, the main advantage with this is the reporting part okay okay Okay, so here we are going to create same as it is zero a ledger, leading ledger, and we are going to create two additional ledgers that is BX and BY. Same, I will normally follow all the concepts, the same for all batches. Why? Because if you shift to any other batch, you are not supposed to have any issues. So that's the reason I'm creating B stands for Birla, X stands for anything I'm taking, any letter I can take. So I'm creating one non-leading ledger for IFRS reporting. Clear? And one more thing you need to remember, then whatever leading ledger data is there, leading ledger data is there. As I said that it is for local gap reporting and it will not only update in F5 module, it's not only update in F5 module, it's automatically updates in CO module also. Whatever F5 related data is there, okay? that will be in whatever ledger zero ledger is there that data will be automatically updated from fi to co module but when it comes to non-leading ledgers when it comes to non-leading ledgers right as i said that this is for ifrs reporting and this is for us gap reporting i want to create but this will be stay only in fi module it's not going to update in co module so interview question, you may expect what is the difference? What do you mean by parallel accounting? What is the difference between, what do you mean by leading ledger? What do you mean by a non-leading ledger? What is the difference between a leading ledger and non-leading ledger? And how many non-leading ledgers we can create? These are the different questions we can expect. So if you ask me, what is the difference in the sense, whatever data will be there in the zero ledger, that will not only stays in uh, FI module, that will flow from FI to CO. Okay, and when it comes to non-leading ledger, the data will store, stay only in FI module, which will not flow to CO module. That is the one more. Clear, so we are going to create B, a zero ledger already, it will be there. So we are going to create BX and BY reporting. BY in the sense, okay. Just, I think you have written this. Any questions still yet? No questions. Clear, right? Yes. Okay. So as we discussed here, we can use multiple currencies, but okay, I'll write it. For example, how the data will flow. Zero a ledger. Zero L is for again. I am reiterating here. Zero L for local gap reporting. So whatever I am going to zero a ledger, I am going to create BX IFRS IFRS reporting. Okay, and BY is for US capital, US capital. Okay, so here we have a three company codes. We have a three company codes. What are the company codes we have? BI01, BI02, BU01, BU01.
and here we will have local currency is INR and hard currency is USD and same for BU2 or BI02 also local currency INR and hard currency is USD okay and for BU01 USD is the local currency and what is the hard currency for this BU01 hard currency BU01 hard currency sorry INR no BU01 hard currency USD, USD only, sorry. Yeah. USD only. Yeah. Foreign country. Yeah. Okay. So reporting. So fiscal year. Local gap reporting. We will follow. April to March. April to March. So here local gap we will fall April to March. April to March. Oh, now local gap we will do the same because we our company is in corporate companies in uh -huh. India. Okay. Here IFRS reporting also same. Okay. April to March. April to March. April to March. When it comes to okay, US gap reporting, US gap, we need to generate a, a hard currency report. Okay, Jan to December. Jan to December. Jan to December. Right on this. Okay, so as we know that new GL accounting has a new formula. Okay, new GL accounting, new GL accounting. Just remember this, that's it. New GL accounting has new formula or formula or whatever you can call new formula that is GL plus business area plus profit center plus segment debit equal to okay gl plus business area plus profit center plus segment credit okay yes. so in this formula every in every transaction it will check whether gl debit equal to gl credit or not business area debit equal to business area credit or not profit center debit equals to profit center credit or not and segment debit equal to segment credit or not in every transaction it will checks clear all right any questions no, no, no. what is the advantage of this new formula Okay, what is the advantage in this in the sense we can generate a trial balance at business area level, profit center wise. We can generate trial balance at segment wise. Right? So here we are generating reports, business area, trial balance at business area wise, profit center wise, segment wise. See, if we are able to generate trial balance in additional three components, Default is GL. Additional three components are this. Means if we are able to generate trial balance in three these components, 
then any financial report, any financial report, we can generate in these three components. So that is the advantage. That is nothing but your profit and loss, balance sheet, cash flows, fund flows. Clear? Any questions? Okay. So here I would like to show you the same entry. Same entry once again, entry view and how it will be generated in the sense. Again, I'm, I'll show you. Because, for example, my company code is BI01. BI01 entry. Right? Company code BI01. So, entry view. Entry view, for example. Entry view. Entry view. Salary account. For example, we are paying salaries in Singapore dollar. For example, salary account, debit to bank outgoing account, bank outgoing account, right? So here, here, for example, currencies. So here, how it will be generated in the sense, for example, Currencies are, we are using document currency is in SGD. Singapore dollar, we have received the currencies. Next one, we have one more currency. Okay, so this is a document currency, business area. And we have profit center, as I said. So here, Singapore dollar, for example, 5,000. We are entering entry in only debit area, right? So I said business area I've created. PHYD and profit center I have created as a P1000. Okay, this is entry view. We have entered the transaction on the debit line 5000 Singapore dollar document we have received in Singapore dollar. Business area we are paying for business area Hyderabad and profit center B1000. So here in GL view, how it displays in the sense. GL view, GL view. So we have what are the ledgers we have? What are the ledgers we have? B Y B B X B Y. Standard one, first one. Zero L. Zero L ledger. By default, first it will show zero L ledger only. And what are the other ledgers we we want to create? B X B X and B Y. Correct. One yes. is for IFRS reporting and another one is gap, other gap reporting. That is nothing about US gap. So if you want to create any further gaps, you can do it. Okay, next one. And it will show we have a three currencies. We have three currencies. What is the this currency we call? Local. No, it's not local currency. Our local currency is INR. This is nothing but your document. Invoice okay. currency. Yeah. Understood. You received invoice in Singapore dollar. Okay. So we have DC, nothing but document currency. Next one, local currency and hard currency. Understood? Yes. So we are posting one entry like this. So, so it, how, so how many entries it will update it in the sense three currencies into three ledgers, three currencies into three ledgers. So how many entries it is going to show? One transaction, one entry we recorded in entry view, but here it will be updated in 0L ledger with three different currencies. Uh, IFRS ledger with three different currencies. US gap report, US gap ledger, three currencies. So three into three, how many entries it's going to show? Nine. nine. Nine entries it's going to okay. show. Nine entries it will show. So here you can write it as an C here. It will show, it will update it. Zero ledger, three currencies. IFRS, three currencies. US gap also, we will have three currencies. Three into three. So total nine entries. How this entry will be generated in the sense, for example,
So here, business area, we have given only debit, right? So here, okay, 5,000. Business area will be copied from debit to credit and profit center will also copy it from debit to credit. And from profit center, it will cop from profit center, segment will be picked. For example, I said B cement, cement segment or corporate segment, whatever it is linked to this profit center, that segment will be automatically picked. Okay, like this, same entries will be shown. In zero ledger, it will show SGD currency, local currency, and only the difference is here it will update. So this is in zero ledger. So here it is in local currency. I'm just, I'm not changing the amount. It will automatically convert it at it. Okay, next one it will show. In hard currency. What is hard currency here? USD. Right, we have posted only one entry and with only debit line details. But here it is posting in document currency local currency and hard currency. This is in zero ledger. Zero ledger. When in the same way we can find this IFRS also same thing will be repeated. So three entries in zero ledger and three entries in your IFRS reporting and three entries in your US gap report. So total nine entries will be updated. If you have few more entries and few more currencies, then automatically it will update in those many reports. Clear, any questions? Yes, no. No. Right. So try to understand this concept, then the configuration will not be a challenge. Just write it down if possible. Just write it down this. When in SAP entry will happen, only sorry, sorry. in SAP when entry is happening in zero L ledger, we are only able to see uh, lines, right? Uh, like INRs, STT, USD. Yeah, the same thing. See, whatever I have shown here, see here. This is, for example, we have entered, this is in uh, ledger UI, uh -huh. right? For example, zero L ledger, zero L ledger, UT01, you can see here. Amount in INR, amount in local currency, amount in hard currency. Yes. Okay. okay. Three three currencies we are able to see. And here automatically updated business area, profit center, and segment. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. In the same thing you can view in. So three entries here almost. Now you can see in other ledgers also. IF, you, IFRS, same thing. And IFRS, same thing. And US gap also, same thing. Yeah. Okay. Any questions still here? Anyone have? Normally, once you post as an AP entry, you can check how many loan leading ledgers your company has having. Fine. So you are in your ledger. Define ledgers for first step. Define ledgers for general ledger accounting. Define ledgers for general ledger accounting. 
write down the path spro step number 1 define ledgers for general ledger accounting write down the path spro sap reference img financial accounting new financial accounting new financial accounting global settings new next ledgers next ledger define ledgers for general ledger accounting define ledgers for general ledger accounting write down the table name we underscore it's not transaction it's a table name we underscore fagl underscore t881 t881 so i'll go with the path slash in spro spro okay spro sap reference img spro sap reference img okay financial accounting new so here this is financial accounting is classic gl and this is one mod this one new gl accounting so financial accounting new okay financial accounting new next one financial accounting global settings new financial accounting global settings new financial accounting global settings new next one ledgers ledgers next one ledger ledgers ledger okay define ledgers for general ledger accounting define ledgers for general ledger accounting so this is a table so we can view this same with sm30 so table we can view in sm30 sm30 okay write down slide SM30, we can give this table name. We can give this table name. The sa same screen will appear. So here, define ledgers for general ledger accounting. So click on execute. Click on execute. Okay. So you can write. So this is. Okay. This is a zero ledger. Don't do any corrections in the zero ledger. This is a SAP standard one. Okay. So just write it down as it is. You can see here leading ledger. Leading ledger, local gap. Just write it down. Okay. Any questions? So we will create two more ledgers. That is BX and BY. Click on new entries. Click on new entries. Okay. BX ledger. BX ledger. Birla. Birla. Non leading ledger. Non leading ledger for IFRS IFRS report okay table will not be changed same fact first okay Next one.
Okay, write it down. And it's not a non it's not a leading ledger, right? It's a non-leading ledger. So don't select this checkbox. Adding required adjust. Next one. BY. BY. So this is for US CAM. US CAM. This right here. So if you press enter, it will show a message again. Add it. So write down this BX and BY. BX and BY. BX for Birla non leading ledger, Birla non leading for IFRS, Birla non leading BY, US gap reporting. If you click on one save button, if you click on save button, we have created ledgers now. So system automatically creates the ledger group. So we have created a ledger and whatever ledgers we have created, when we click on save button, the system automatically creates the ledger group. For example, BX ledger, it will create a group called BX only. Whatever BY ledger we have created, then the group also, it will create a dozen BY. Okay. Right. Any questions here? No questions. Okay. So if so here, why the group concept came into the picture in the sense, for example, when we post again ledger group concept, I'll explain again next also. So here, for example. What is this entry? What is this entry? It is updated in which ledger? Zero. Zero ledger. And how about this? How about this ledger? Local. That is nothing but BX, right? Yes. Local gap. This is local gap. This is IFRS. This is IFRS, BX ledger. Right. Okay. Next one. This is. This is what? Which ledger it will update it? BY ledger. What is BY ledger we have created? What is BY ledger? This is for local gap reporting. Please don't forget this local gap and BX is for IFRS. IFRS and this is for US gap. US gap. Clear? So here, what if, for example, why the group concept, ledger group concept came into the picture in the sense, for example, I want, I want the report should be generated only in 0L ledger. Not other things, the data need not be updated in other reports like IFRS and US GAAP reports. Means some entries with year end entries. We want specific ledger only, it need to be updated, not other. For example, we are doing US, US GAAP reporting. I want whatever data, the closing entry I am posting or transfer entry I am posting that need to be updated only in US gap reporting. Or I need to update only in IFRS reporting. Or I want to update in only local gap reporting. Or I want to update the combination US gap and IFRS. Or IFRS and US gap, local gap. Or local gap and US gap. So I, I want a permutation and combinations. Clear? Then the ledger cons ledger group concept came into the picture. 
understood few entries we don't want to if what is this one what happens this one if i enter any transaction then it will be updated in whatever ledgers one leading ledger and other non leading ledgers it will be get updated it will be get updated but i don't few entries i don't want to update in whatever all non leading ledgers right i want to update only few non leading ledgers for example at the end we will post some transfer entries or adjustment entries right then that need to be updated only in us gap reporting or only in ifrs reporting clear only in local gap reporting at that particular point of time we will have the ledger group clear so we will use save it now you can find it okay everyone noted right so you click on so save it what is my company lahari on request lahari uh, birla so click on okay button now you will get one message so ledger group uh, you can see here ledger group 0 a ledger see here oh, sorry bx ledger group bx is created only with ledger bx nothing but group bx group has been bx ledger group has been created with a ledger bx okay so we have created only this bx ledger system automatically created the group bx group just write down this message this ledger group helps us in posting in one particular ledger only write down this message means by selecting this group we can post entry only in bx write down this message click on ok button now it will show by you can see so at the time of posting an entry it will uh, we can enter we can select the ledger group which ledger group we want to post by default it will be there zero ledger but i don't want to update the entry i want i don't want to post the entry in zero l i want to post in bx so we can type there bx and i don't want to post this in bx i want to post in by then we can select by right so if the group is not created then we can't do it clear now you can write this ledger group by is created only with ledger by Okay, automatically the group will be created by the system. So click on clear understood. Any questions here? So ledger concept, ledger group group concept. Any questions on this? No. No, right? Kindly respond, please. So we need to activate. With these non-leading ledgers, we need to activate currencies. So write down, define currencies. Define currencies for. Okay. So here we need to update two currencies as we discussed. What are the currencies we have? What are the currencies we need to update? Local currency and hard currency so automatically with document currency at the time of posting we will update it not an issue but here we need to update local currency and hard currency right if you know what do you mean by document define currencies for define currencies of leading ledger define currencies of leading ledger define currencies of leading ledgers right on the path path same as above till ledger till ledger till ledger define currencies define currencies of leading ledger define currencies of leading ledger path same as above till ledger 
path same as above till ledger from there select from there select define currencies of leading ledger okay so i'll go with this so i'll click on save button press back press back button define currencies of leading ledger right so click on img activity button click on img activity button press new entries okay so here we can have three parallel currencies three parallel currencies first currency second currency and third currency this is an ecc okay in s4 hana we can have total nine different currencies nine parallel currencies so that i'll show when we do our s4 hana part but in ecc by default how many currencies we can have how many currencies three. we can have by default three okay but here I'm, i want to use only two currencies that is local currency and hard currency but in uh, we can use up to three currencies but when it comes to s4 hana we can use up to nine currencies if you want you can write it down okay so in ecc maximum we can have three currencies so here company code bi01 so here we are going to do with bi01 okay. bi01 come give company code bi01 enter so automatically local currency it will be updated first currency details automatically it will update it local currency it will automatically accept second currency we can have hard currency 40 you can select here 40 hard currency next one same thing you can go it valuation it's a legal valuation for legal reporting purpose we want this okay next one standard you, re you remember m average price m next one translation taking i'll explain this translation date means transaction date so let's say okay just write it down. just write it down as it is hard currency legal valuation Standard translation at average rate. Just write it down. See, you can see here INR and USD. So what do you mean by here? Translation taking transaction currency as a basis means whatever foreign currency fluctuation or foreign currency exchange rate value will be taken as per your transaction currency means document currency. The same thing will be updated and it will be checked on your transaction date. So automatically it will check in the back end whatever exchange rate value will be there. Okay. It will compare with your document currency okay next click on save button click on save button say okay so we need to repeat the same for other company codes okay click on next entry so repeat the same for other company codes so you can write same as above Let's give your company code uh, bi02 Automatically, it will fix company code currency. So, same thing we can give here. Okay. What is your, uh, in this particular transaction, what is the base currency for us? That is nothing but document currency. 
correct? So document currency will be converted into INR and INR will be converted into USD. Moving average price method. Okay. Okay. Just write it down. LI0 to click on save button. Repeat the same for other company code also. So here, next entry. Okay. So here, BU01. So here, BU01 automatically when I press enter, it will take company code currency as an USD and hard currency is also USD. Just write it down. Just write it down. Okay, click on save button. Any questions? So this is activation of currencies for leading ledger. Okay. So we will continue the next step that is define and activate non-leading ledgers. Okay. In tomorrow's session. Any questions before we will wind up? Yes, please. Any no, questions? No questions from my side. How about others? Kindly respond, please. If you won't respond, then I can't understand whether I'm I am I reachable to you or not. Just a single word, yes or no, that's it. No, no. no issues, right? No. Thank you. No, no issues. See you in tomorrow's session at 7.30.